G'day, I'm Joel. I'm a personal trainer from Bondi Beach, Australia. And in March 2020, I had a tumour removed from my brain. I created this YouTube channel to bring motivation, support and insights to anyone going through a brain surgery journey of their own. I would love to help as many patients and their families as possible. If what I'm saying is helpful, please like and subscribe. Yo, 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 warriors, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Alrighty, so as you would have read in the subject of this video, does fatigue dissipate over time? Uh, so this is a great question from another legend in the community. His name is Adam. And yeah, he wanted to know if fatigue dissipates over time. So in today's video, I'm going to focus on, uh, on, on three major things. So number one, is we've got to understand our new our new bodies, our new brains, our new, our new fatigue levels. Number two, I'm going to touch on strategies that I use to uh, get around my new fatigue self, for lack of a better term. You guys know what I mean. And number three, does it get better? I had surgery nearly five years ago. Back in 2020 was my surgery, so I can give you some good insights on if it, if it does get better. Alrighty, so Adam, thanks for the great question, mate. And Adam simply chucked the question in the comments of one of my previous videos, so that's why I'm making this video. All right, number one, understanding our new bodies. So guys, I've said this in many, many of my previous videos. We now live a new life. Our surgeons got a scalpel, yeah, a scalpel, and cut into the back of our skulls and removed brain tissue. That puts so much stress, not only on your brain, but also your nervous system. And your nervous system is what controls our fatigue. Now, I'm not a surgeon or a doctor. I don't have any form of a, you know, doctorate. I haven't done a Hippocratic Oath, but you and I both know our fatigue levels are enormous after brain surgery, as annoying as it is. And as much as we think it's gone away when we're riding that wave of feeling good, when we're at the bottom, when we're feeling yuck, it, uh, yeah, as you know, we can be very, very, very tired and walking to the, uh, the fridge can get annoying. So yeah, guys, please be patient. Don't be so hard on yourself. Don't be in this massive rush to try and get back into your old life, whether it's work, relationships, social life, physically, um, you know, and, and I need to look myself in the mirror. Sometimes I can be the biggest hypocrite because I try and rush back into so many things, but yeah, just realize you need to understand your new body, your new brain, and your new fatigue levels, um, and really just take the pressure off yourself. Otherwise, that will be even more stressful, and will will make that burnout time come even quicker. So, guys, number two. Uh, so, we're going to talk about the strategies I use to to manage my new fatigue. So, it's quite simple. First of all, be aware of it. Accept that you are going to have fatigue, even if you're feeling good. Sadly, it's just around the corner. So things I do, I don't overload my social life anymore. I used to love going out every night, connecting with friends, having dinners, yada, yada, yada. I now don't fill my calendar with too many things. Especially now I have a 13-month-old boy. He's running around. He's, uh, as you guys know, with kids uh, and nieces and nephews. You know how taxing and tiring, especially a little 13 month old, a toddler running around is. So I need to be on, on, on switched on for, uh, for him. So yeah, I don't overcommit to, to social stuff anymore, which is sad. I don't get to see my friends as often, but if my friends want to see me, I get them to come to my house because that just saves me the, the physical and mental taxing of the commute. They're getting there, they're getting back, etc., etc. So that's one thing I, I definitely do. I also listen to my body way more. If I can feel that fatigue is coming, where possible, I'll stop what I'm doing. Even if I was shooting a video like this and I felt the fatigue kicking in, as much as I want to connect with you guys and provide good content with you, I literally shut the laptop. I'd go, I'd go and chill out, just take it easy and, and read a book or really just slow down and, and listen to my body. Uh, guys, other things that I do is enjoying the power to say no. Uh, many times I commit to doing something because of my, uh, my old social butterfly ways. 
And I've just had to just reach out to my friends and go, look guys, today's not a good day for me. I'm really run down, I'm really fatigued and, and I can't come to that social event. And my crew, my social network are all very understanding. Obviously I've had brain surgery far out. They're fine if I, uh, if I have to cancel a, a plan every now and then because I'm just, I'm knackered, I've run out of batteries. So don't be afraid to say no. And the last thing I do, and I actually touched on this in a, in a recent video is I schedule rest time. My life is hectic with a job, with a kid, with trying to train, with general errands. So I schedule rest time and rest for me could be simply sitting down and watching sport for an hour and a half and just really taking it easy. I'm so lucky I've got a super supportive fiance and she looks after the little guy while I, uh, while I take, take that time for rest. And I even find uh, going and having workouts that aren't too intense, pretty relaxing as well. So these are things that I do. So scheduling, scheduling time for rest is great. So guys, the third thing that Mikey wanted to know about, does it get better? The answer is yes and no. So I'm nearly five years out from surgery. I still have fatigue challenges. I actually connected with a legend on Instagram the other day and he was so frustrated that he's getting fatigue. And I believe he's only uh, three months out. So yeah, you, you can manage it if you do all these things I've listed in this video. Um, if you just accept that you're gonna be fatigued and then try to uh, be consistent in small doses with your, with your training and your social life and your commitments. Uh, but yeah, you've really got to accept that this is a new way of life. Uh, you may go back to how you used to be, and I really hope you do. But just from my experience and my journey, I'm nowhere near where I used to be. I used to train six days a week. I used to go out most nights. Even thinking about that, I don't know if you could see on my faces, and it just makes me feel so tired, as you guys can relate. Um, so you just accept where you are, guys. And just watch loads of these videos. I give loads and loads and loads of tips on how to accept our new fatigue, but also how to stay positive and don't let that get you down. Uh, we're still here, we're alive. We could be much, much worse, as dark as it sounds. We, we could have passed away from our brain tumors, but we're here soldiering on. Um, sadly, there are millions of us out there that, that haven't been as lucky as us and still here to to try and recover and try and improve and, and move forward. Uh, so guys, I wanna end on a high. If you guys have a surgery or an upcoming um, mental blank again, upcoming procedure, or if you if you have some results coming your way, I wish you nothing but the best. Um, I'm not super religious, but I want to send all my positive energy, thoughts, and vibes to you. Um, and I wish you nothing but the best, and I hope you get, get some good answers and results across the next, next days, weeks, and months. All right, guys, I'm out. Peace.